it's going to be like a once in a lifetime opportunity because you don't really get many in England. So being here at the right time is going to be amazing. Ronnie Smith is visiting New York all the way from England. The 13 year old cannot contain his excitement to witness his first ever total solar eclipse. Very excited. It's the first one I've seen that it's going to it's not going to happen for a long time after. As New Yorkers gear up for the celestial event, some locals reflect on what can only be described as a whirlwind week of events, with a rare earthquake hitting our region just two days ago. It feels like the craziest <laughs> week ever. Something weird is in the air. <laughs> we got to get t-shirts for the eclipse next. Anticipation reaching new heights as thousands of New Yorkers are expected to flock to viewing parties across the city, like one happening at the Intrepid Museum Monday. But amidst mounting excitement, eye doctors like Amy Vedata are sounding the alarm about the potential dangers of viewing the eclipse without proper eye protection. Looking at the sun without protection can cause damage to the retina. Even staring at the sun for just a few seconds can permanently cause vision loss. Dr. Vedata says you should only view the eclipse with special glasses that comply with solar safety standards. If you feel your eyesight is damaged, you might notice these symptoms. Blur or blind spot in your central vision, a distorted vision, altered color vision, or sensitivity to light. So if you have any difficulties at all, you should definitely see your ophthalmologist. She says with the high demand for the glasses, finding a pair has been a challenge for eager sky gazers, with many retail locations selling out. Ronnie, however, was able to score his own pair as he looks forward to an unforgettable experience. Because now we can actually see the eclipse because I was worried I won't be able to see it. Now I have these, I'll be able to see them. That solar eclipse is expected to start in our area around 2.50 Monday afternoon. Dr. Vedata says regular sunglasses are not dark enough to protect your eyes when viewing the sun. So try your best to secure a pair of these special sun viewing glasses. On the west side, Jeanne Caldwell, PIX11 News.